hello guys today in this video i am going to tell you how we can implement in memory cache in asp.net core so there are a lot of benefits of implementing in memory cache and you can see here it improves the performance and stability of the application or we can see web api okay and it works best when we are going to select the data from server okay because it makes the copy of the data and that can be returned faster okay from the original source from where we are from where we are retrieving the data or we can say from the database okay and here it, it if it means with the performance it also brings some issue that we must need not depend completely on the cache data we must need to refresh the our cache server or cache data always within a time difference at server because cache data is stored on the server okay or we can say in the server memory okay so let's move to the implementation how we can implement the caching or we can see in memory caching in ASP.NET core okay so let me go to this document here so you can see here the are the steps what we need to follow for implementing the in memory cache in .NET core 5 web API okay so first of all what we need to do we need to add the services inside the startup.cs file so then i need to add this line okay services dot add memory cache so i will go to visual studio and here i will go to startup.cs file and here in the you can see these are the namespaces which are present here okay and here uh, this is dependency injection okay and here i am going to add the the service to define the id memory caches so here i am going to put services dot add memory cache okay and here you can see also there are two methods with which we can implement okay so we have the setup options so i'm not going to use the, any other option right now so i'm just going to do the basic things here to implement the in memory cache let me also add a here a comment in memory cache okay and now i have done the first step and the second step is i need to do the dependency injection of that in memory cache or we can see we need to call the its interface okay so now i will go to the controller where i want to implement the in memory cache okay so i need to implement it in account controller and in the account controller i will go to the top where I need to uh, where I need to define the memory so what I will do here I will create a variable of I memory cache and here I will use it like this okay and here you also need to Uh, okay so now I have done this part okay and now what I need to do I need to add the complete dependency here as well okay so now I also need to inject its dependency and how we can do that we need to add one more here uh, attribute okay I memory cache or here I can create its variable and I also I need to here assign it so what I will do here this dot underscore memory case okay sorry memory case and here I will add memory case okay now dependence injection is done now I need to call this what I need to implement so I want to implement it in in the API or we can see in the action method where I want to get the data or frequently I get the data okay so this is going to 
select the data on the basis of single user ID okay and this is going to select the multiple users okay on the basis of its offset and limit or we can say uh, number of users or what I want okay so what we can do here here I need to create okay let me copy here the key of the cache so what I will do here I will create the key so this is the unique key for this cache okay and the next thing what I need to do I need to check whether the memory cache is having some data or not so how we can do it okay here I need to check if not in memory okay let me just copy it so that I can do the things quickly okay okay so now what I'm trying to get here okay I also need to add here underscore okay so because I have defined it at the top okay and here I am trying to get the value from the cache which is going to be an out parameter okay so uh, this out is basically just for uh, sending the data out from the method okay so this try get value is a method okay and you can see this method in the cache extension you can see here okay and here is the cache its key value its parameter okay so this this method I'm calling okay okay and here what I, it, it's like checked okay if some if memory is not like it if cache data is not present in the memory then it will enter into this okay so now what I, I'm I'm calling here database query so what I need to do here I will call it inside this if statement okay and now <coughs> what I will do I will I will generate a cache okay I will generate it okay and also as you know, can see here user see already present here so I will remove it from here okay because it's already present okay and here and the next line what I need to do I need to set the cache option so let me just copy it from here okay and let me paste it so what it is then doing basically it is first checking the memory if memory is empty or we can say I mean I mean cache memory is empty or we can say there is no cache data with the name of this cache key okay available in the cache then it will go inside this if statement and it will get the data from the database okay and then it will set its timeout as 50 second that means 50 50 second it will keep returning the same data from the cache okay and its priority is also high so it will give the preference to the cache data okay and this is this will start um, expiration sliding expiration time will start from the 20 second okay is each 20 second it will start the expiration okay and now what I will do also I need to set the cache in the memory so this is the line of code okay what using uh, which we can set it in the cache memory so you can see here memory cache dot set okay here again I need to do underscore okay now I am setting this memory cache in or you can say in memory okay with the cache key and the data of users and the expiry option so this is, this is the complete uh, configuration data of the memory cache okay so here basically sliding expiration is, is, is implemented here or I have added here because I want to expire the, uh, the data which is stored in cache after 20 seconds if it is not accessed okay so if suppose it is not accessed or not not any single query have received for to get the data from the cache then it will automatically expire after 20 second okay but suppose what I'm doing here I'm doing it absolute expiration relative to now okay that means after this 20 second it will will it will completely like 
uh, expire the data okay so that is the abs absolute expiration okay whether it is, it is being accessed or not but in case of sliding expiration it will it will remove the data from the cache only if it is not accessed till 20 seconds okay and in the, within 50 seconds it will automatically expire okay means this is the absolute expiration okay that means after 50 seconds it will must expire but suppose it if it is not ex, uh, accessed till 20 seconds then it will again expire just after 20 seconds okay so this is the main configuration here and here i have added in the memory cache okay and now what i will do i think that's it what we need to do and now i am returning the data okay yes that's it okay so now let me run it and let's go ahead and check uh, how it is working okay so let me put here a breakpoint and let me run this now you can see our server is running so now let me go ahead in the postman and try to access this api so this is the exact api what i'm trying to access and when i will send this request then i should get here the authorization error because i have not changed that access token here okay so as you can see as expected i am getting 401 unauthorized so what i will do here so i will log in here first okay i will click on send here in the postman and now you can see uh, it is sending the request to the server or you can say to the local host and it will bring up the new token from the database uh, it will it will basically match the data with the database okay the password and the username if, if everything is right then it will give me the access token and with other user details so uh, I, uh, I have sent this request for the first time that's why it is uh, taking little bit of time okay uh, and you can see here I got the response so what I will do here I will copy this token okay and I will go ahead in the get profile get users actually okay because I have applied the cache on this API and here I have entered the new token value here okay and now again I will click on send and you will see here that for the first time I will get the data uh, in the long span of time because it is now getting the data from the database okay this API basically will get the users available in the database and the users limit will be 0 to 5 that means it will give me only 5 record 5 number of users okay which is registered with our ser server or we can save with our system so it is taking time and the main reason of this is because it has reached to the breakpoint and you can see here breakpoint it, it is at the breakpoint and okay now let's move line by line here and you can see i have pressed f10 and it has move to the next line again f10 so now it has assigned the key to the cache and now here it is checking the memory and you can see there is no data available in the memory so that is why it has reached to the next line and now it is sending the uh, request to the database and it will get it has got, got the data and now it has created the settings here okay and now visual studio is hanging so yeah that's no problem okay and now you can see it has reached to the next line and again i will do f10 and it has set the memory okay and now it is returning the data to the api okay you can see i got the data okay and right now i have only three four and five number of just data now you can see i have added a breakpoint here just at line number 409 because if it will call the 
database for the first time okay then it it should come inside this okay let me see when it will find the memory cache is empty okay but if there is some data available in the cache then it should not come here okay okay and now it will do the refresh of data in each 50 seconds okay so let me uh, call this api so let me click on send and you can see here it has reached to the breakpoint that means it found that memory cache is empty okay and memory cache will be automatically empty just after 20 seconds because this sliding expiration and it will definitely expire in 50 seconds okay so now it has come that means it has found that memory cache is empty right now okay so now let me click on continue and now it has taken time 22.53 seconds to get the data okay and now again i will click on here send and you can see this time it did not reach to this line of code to get the new data okay because it found that memory cache is not empty right now it is having the data that's why it is it is it has returned the data from from this uh, from this uh, this try get value uh, actually it found the data in this cache key users and it returned the same data okay so now let me send it again okay and again you can see the data is expired again just after 20 seconds so i will continue here and you can see now i got again the new data okay now I, once i will click on send again then it should not get and you can see it also it took the very very less time okay and always it will take the time within in milliseconds okay because it is not calling the database but once it will try to call the database then it might increase the chance to uh, retrieve the data or get the data maybe in one second or okay uh, but it will not it will be very less chance to get the data within milliseconds okay so this is the use of uh, in memory caching okay so you can apply the same thing in your apis to increase the server performance which will be really very very helpful thing for any any application if you are going to publish it on the production so i will re recommend you to use the in memory caching at least okay and so uh, the next thing is like using the uh, distributed caching by using redis server so there are a lot of things which we can use other casings but uh, this is the basic caching which we must need to use to increase the server performance so i hope you liked it okay so that is all guys in this video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel